Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Still remember the conversation I was having with my mom when she first said, oh, I'll just Google it later. I mean, I had a tear well up in my eye. I couldn't believe she used it as a verb. She's going to Google something. This is great. It means it's big. I mean, it's huge. Uh, today, Google announced that uh, they're integrating AOL Instant Messenger with Google Talk, and that's pretty huge news. And next week, they're announcing that they're going to start the Google Grocery Service. And Wicket, not now, next week. He's already so, he's so excited about it, my dog. Uh, no, I'm kidding. It, they're not going to do uh, uh, any kind of uh, delivery service with food, not by any stretch of the imagination. So you can hear him, can't you? I'm not crazy, right? So anyway... Uh, I thought it'd be good to share Peter yeah. Peter Schwanke his top five tips on how to use Google because there's so many people who use Google but are you really using Google? I mean, t like just hardcore Google. So I thought I'd share these top five tips with the rest of the galaxy or community at large, and hopefully that includes the entire galaxy. <clears throat> In case you haven't already gotten one, or find this an addendum to something existing already, here is a top five list of Google tips. Only slightly more aggravating than the constant questions that could be answered by Google searches is how many people can't seem to use this resource effectively. Who cares if it's in Klingon if you can't use it? And yes, Google is available in the Klingon language. <clears throat> Go ahead, try it. Change your language to Klingon. You can do it. Therefore, I humbly present the top five tips to using Google. Number one, don't just use I'm feeling lucky. Google is such a massive search engine, limiting yourself to whatever Google thinks is most relevant is 99.9% .9 of the time worthless, unless you're sure what the top hit is. For instance, if you go to Google and you type in my first name, Chris, C-H-R-I-S, and press I'm feeling lucky, you will be lucky because you'll go directly to my blog. I've been the number one Chris on Google for a few years, and I hope to stay that way, and I can't stay that way so long as everybody links back to me. So start linking after you're watching the video. Don't link right now. Watch the video, then link. Number two, learn Boolean operators. And, and Boolean, they were the people and the, the aliens in the cantina, you know. dun 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 You know, they had big head. They weren't the Boolean operators. <clears throat> that was, they were biff. Uh, using quotation marks from the get-go in your search can greatly narrow things down. Also, using other operators such as AND or OR will help limit, refine, and narrow down your search to things that are relevant. Realize that Google, in its gargantuan scope, is both a blessing and a curse. 3. Use the advanced search. Not only will you get easy-to-use Boolean setup, You'll also get many other options, especially language and region. If you're looking for a Russian cooking, chances are you'll get lots of sites in Russian. But I can only read English. Well, that's what uh, Peter says, and I'm kind of in the same boat. Format can be also be useful if you're, say, looking for PDFs. Setting dates can also help find recent results. So there are things that you can type in that subject line, in the, in the, in the topic, or the uh, well, search field, that will narrow your search to specifically what you're looking for. So he says PDFs. How can you do that? Okay, so let's say you want to find PDFs that mention my last name, Perillo. You can type in Perillo, space, file type, F-I-L-E-T-Y-P-E, -E, colon, PDF. And that's just, that's like no spaces there. File type, colon, PDF. We'll just search the PDFs in Google's index that include the word Perillo. Cool, huh? <laughs> Try that with MP3. All right, we move on. Number four, don't just use standard Google search. Simple Google will get you plenty of hits, but the more popular image search can be helpful to find diagrams, etc. Narrowing down your search can be as simple as using the proper kind of search. Google Scholar, as a college student, is possibly the single most helpful tool to finding scholarly research, especially since it interfaces with my university subscriptions to various databases. Google Books can also be helpfully equal, equally helpful Listen to me. If you're looking for simple text and to find basic information about a book, such as, say, for a bibliography, the News Archive is a one-stop shop if you're looking for periodicals. And, by the way, don't forget to use the video search because a lot of the videos that we record show up in there. Try it.
Number five, don't just use one search and don't just give up after one page. Never look at just the first page or just the top of the first page. 10 hits is just the very tip of the iceberg that Google supplies. Usually the first 30 or so hits are still on topic. If you're not right on the money, well, you can keep moving on. Often I find some of my best results on the bottom of the first page or on the second page. Also, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. If what you're looking for isn't turned up in the first volley of key terms, keyword searches, searches, try tweaking your search and looking through another few pages. May your Google foo increase with these insights, young grasshopper. Thank you so much, Peter. Appreciate these top five lists, uh, uh, you know, that you're sending along specifically related uh, to Google in this case. Uh, Peter is just one of many of, of you out there who've got this knowledge and just want to share the information, how you use these tools, whether they have to be related to technology or not. I mean, my mom uses Google. I'm sure she's going to take advantage of some of these tips. And I know we kind of squeezed more than five in there. I hope you'll forgive us. I gave you more than you bargained for. And considering you got this video for free, well, at least I think you got it for free. Uh, at least the time that we're recording it for free, maybe you bought it on DVD, who knows. Uh, Google is your friend. Top five lists are also your friend. But do you have any Google tips that we can pass along? Specific, really, really, really hardcore Google tips that anybody could use? I'd be interested in finding out. Uh, Google is an amazing resource. I've certainly loved what they've done now that they've uh, acquired YouTube and have been uh, changing things up slowly but surely, making it a better service. Uh, Google, to me, is, is kind of the top dog uh, as far as I'm concerned. I, mean, it's, I, I visit that website more than I visit any other website on the planet or in the solar system at least. <clears throat> if you've got a top five list, email it to me, chris at perillo.com. And you're also welcome to swing by the chat room where we're typically talking tech 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And that's at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.